Okay, today, now we're going to look at the solo to Bohemian Rhapsody, Brian May and Queen. It's an awesome solo, one of the most epic rock opera solos ever. Not the most. So anyway, this solo, we're going to start off, basically, we're over B flat, B flat major right now. So we're going to grab the eighth fret of the D string, the index finger. You don't have to slide into it. I like to slide into it sometimes, but you can just play it straight. I think that's how Brian did it. And then 10th fret of the G string with your ring finger. We're going to bend it up a whole step. Release it. Then grab 8th uh, fret on the G string. And then with your ring finger, you're going to grab 11 on the B string. Okay, now index finger, 8th fret on the B string, ring finger, 11th fret, and bend it up a whole step. Okay, now we're going to move up, index finger is going to grab the 13th fret on the B, we're going to do a little rake, which is basically, basically to do that rake, you're going to have to palm mute down here by the, the bridge piece, so that we get this, this kind of percussive sound, you know, that's why they call it a rake, and rakes can be down, uh, downwards or upwards, but for our purposes right now, we're going to do a downward rake, so... Again, the palm sits right on the strings, right by the bridge. Then you take your pick, and starting from the low E string, just pick down. But try to make it all one motion. Okay? So, 13th fret on the B, uh, B string. Then, like we're doing a bar, come right down with that same finger and grab the 13th fret of the high E. Oh, excuse me, we're not there yet. Sorry. Yeah, we're there. Okay, so do that rake. Then we're going to do middle finger, 15th fret of the B. Ring finger, uh, 16th fret of the B. Back to uh, 13. Then 15 again. Then 16 again. Pick it and then bend it up. Now, we're going to do a rake again on that 13th fret of the B, and this is where our bar comes in, to the 13th fret of the high E. Then, ring finger, grab the 15th fret of the high E. Then, ring finger moves up, one fret to the 16th fret. Then ring finger moves up a whole step to the 18th fret, bends it up a whole step. And that's really a pre-bend, at least that's how I do it. You want to rake down, do this lick, bend it up first and then pick it. Instead of going, you're going to go. It's a little bit, uh, has more character that way, I think. Okay, now this lick, which is the, the flashy part of the solo. We're going to go back to that 18th fret. We're going to pick it. Then we're going to go down to uh, middle finger, 16th fret. So 16th fret, 15th fret, 16th fret again, then 15, hammer on to 16, pull off to 15. Okay. 
Okay, then ring finger is going to come down and grab 18 on the B. Then back to 15 on the high E. Then back to that 18 on the B. Then 16 on the B. Then 15. Hammer on to 16. Pull off to 15. Okay. Actually, all right, hold on. Actually, we're going to go 18, pick 16, pick 15, then pick 16 again. Now we're going to do our hammer on. So we're going to go 15 to 16, pull off to 50. Okay. Then we're going to grab 17 on the G, 15 on the B, 17 on the G, and pull off to 15 on the G. I'm going to play it really slowly, because even I'm getting a little bit tripped up here. It's one of those things that when I'm playing it fast, I don't even have to think about it. But then breaking it down, sometimes I don't always remember exactly what I'm doing. So bear with me. Okay. Now, basically, we're going to take that little scale pattern and we're going to ascend it. It's if you know your music theory, this is called a B-flat mixolydian scale, but you don't need to know that. Basically, all it is is 15 to 17 on the G string, then 15, 16, 18 on the B string. Then 15, 16, 18 on the high E. Okay, then again, the next lick after it's going to start off the same way. Now I'm going to do another one of those pre-bends once I get to that 18th fret of the high E. Okay, now our rake comes back. We're going to do, we're going to rake down to that 15th fret of the B. Catch the 16th fret of the B, then 17 on the G, and then we're going to play 15 and 16 on the B again, but this time without a rake, and then 17 again on the G. <clears throat> and then 15, 16 again on the B, and then bend it up. bend on the 16th fret, whole step. Okay, then we're going to go down to the 10th fret on the G string with our index finger. Then we're going to take middle finger and grab the 12th fret. Then ring finger grabs the 13th fret. Pinky grabs the 13th fret of the high E. <clears throat> And then back to 13 on the G with that ring finger. Now, using our ring finger again, we're going to grab 18th fret on the G. I mean, basically, it sounds best, I think, to slide up into that and pick it like that. Then we're going to take it and slide down to the 6th fret 
with the G. And then from there, slide down to the second fret of the G. Okay, so that's the whole solo. I'm going to play it from start to finish now really slow so you can see the whole thing, right? Okay, so that's it. That's the whole Brian May Bohemian Rhapsody solo. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.